Hey guys, what is up? It's Ghostu back with another sponsored Shadowverse video. Uh, if you haven't seen this game before on my channel, it's basically a card game for mobile for Android and iOS. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to the game itself, and yeah, we'll just get on with the video. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more ranked games. Um, I've already done like tutorials and stuff, or you can just you know uh, check that out, or just play story mode in the game itself. It, it'll teach you like all the basics and pretty much everything you need to know. Um, and yeah, and just we're just gonna climb the ladder again, uh, try to get that masters. So I've actually played this game for a while now, and I played a lot like off stream and stuff. But I'm only C2, so that would be like um, silver to goldish if you compare it to league ladder. I think I could be wrong. And yeah, I'm level 74, so that's actually pretty high. But yeah, it just means I play the game way too much. Um, so yeah. Uh, the gameplay itself is pretty straightforward. Again, I'd recommend checking out my other videos or just going through the story mode to learn the basics and stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. I guess I'll teach you guys how to play uh, or, you know, the basics or how it works. So if you don't want to go check out the other videos and stuff. So yeah, um... Yeah, okay, so there's play points. Every turn, well, you start off with one, and every turn you get one more, so that just means um, the amount of play points required to play a certain card. So, for example, right now, I can't, I can't really play any cards. I can play this one, but it says deal two, two damage to an enemy follower, and so there isn't really an enemy follower on the other enemy team. This is a spell card, so that doesn't count. Enemy followers are basically just like, uh, you know, minions, like stuff like this. So I can't really play that. Um, and yeah, that's the the goal is just to bring the enemy's HP down to zero. So everyone starts at 20 HP, and you have attack and defense. You know, you just use simple math and try to win the game, pretty much. Obviously, it's extremely, like, there's a crap ton of strategies that you can use and stuff, but... That's pretty much the basics. So, Unicorn, Dancer, Unica. I'll just, I'm not gonna explain every card, I'll just go over like a couple, just to give you a little, um, you know, preview, I guess, of gameplay or whatever, and show you how it works. So at the start of your turn, restore two defense to your leader, that's pretty straightforward, right? You just put that down, and then on your next turn, you get two HP back if you've lost any. You can't go over 20, so that's just the max. And yeah, there's like a, a bunch of characters with their own abilities and stuff. So, for example, I'm using the dragon character. It's actually supposed to be a guy, but I bought a skin, so it's it's a girl now. But yeah, you can use uh, Overflow. So basically, Overflow is my special ability, which everyone has. Not Overflow, but like everyone has their own special ability. So Overflow just makes it so that when it reaches to zero, remaining number of play points, so, you know, when when it gets to the fifth turn, all my cards that have the overflow ability in them pretty much have special effects that you can use. For example, gain storm if overflow is active for you. So that means that once once overflow is active and I put this I play this card, I can basically attack on the same turn that I put it down. Um, Usually, normally, you can't attack on the same turn you put a card down. You have to either wait for your next turn, or you can use evolution. I'll get into that in a second. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll use Blazing Breath to deal 2 damage to this guy and kill that. And I'll put my next Unicorn Dancer down. So, evolution is basically, you know, just evolve. It's not, um... I think you get it on the fifth turn or something. But yeah, um, if you started first, you only get two points. If you started second, then you get three points. Evolution means that you can basically evolve your cards to you know something stronger. For example, it already tells you what ha what will happen. So anyway, okay, it's fourth turn. Yeah, fourth turn. So when you evolve something, they gain more stats, and certain cards have special effects that you can use. So if I evolve this one. I deal 3 damage to an enemy follower. So followers, like I said before, are just minions. Um, they don't have any right now, these are spell cards. So that's a really spell heavy card. 
I mean, spell heavy character. So there's no point of that. I'll just put another unit down. down. And yeah, my deck is. I've, I've been working on it for a while, but I haven't really gotten all the cards. And again, this game is really like. Honestly, free to play as it gets because you can go really, really far in this game without paying a single penny. But uh, yeah, I haven't. This is more like of a late game deck, I'd say. So my early game is really shit, but once it gets to late game, I have like all these super strong legendary cards. Which, you know, it just. It pretty much just destroys everything, so. For, for silver to gold player, like, yeah, that's, that's the dream right there. So yeah, she's really spell heavy. Um, she has all these countdown cards. So basically, in a certain amount of turns, something happens. Like she gets draw two cards or um, summon a holy falcon and holy flame tiger. Tiger, sorry, which are really strong. Like, so I'll do this. I'll use my dragon warrior. So as you can see, there's no like highlight or anything right so that means you can attack but if you evolve which i have three points of then i get to activate a special effect first which is deal three damage to an enemy follower so i'll destroy that one and then i can use this to attack it directly she used a lot of cards so i'm actually like this game looks pretty free, I, th I feel like. I could be wrong though. But yeah, there's a... Like, there's a huge amount of strategy involved in this game. And obviously, you know, it gets harder the higher you climb. Um, so, uh, Dragon Oracle is basically... You gain an empty play point orb, so next turn you can... You gain an extra, right? So that means you can play a stronger card. So, what I will do is, actually I'll just play it now, and I'll put a bell ringer. This is a ward, so you see the shield, that means that these guys, the enemy can't attack anything except, it's like a taunt, you have to attack this before you can attack any other card or a leader or whatever. And yeah, once once this card dives, dies, which is, you know, last words, actually if you just press on it, it'll tell you. In detail what it does last last words effects activate when the card is destroyed that's why i put that down so once it gets destroyed i get a free a free draw basically and this just tells you the battle log of like what's been happening and stuff and yeah that's pretty much like just the basics of the game um obviously again the game's actually a lot more complicated because there's way too much strategy and you know deck building and all that good stuff. Okay, let's see. Like I'm gonna use another uh, dragon warrior. I'll destroy this one. So I'm pretty much getting to late game now, which makes my you know my deck like actually useful now but I don't have that many great cards this one's pretty strong deal 2 damage to all enemy fo to all other followers so basically every card except this one and um yeah it has a really strong attack and defense defense let's see what this does whenever an allied follower with at least 4 defense comes into play give it ward so yeah, basically any card that has four defense um, gets the taunt thing that I was showing, that I was talking about before. Hmm. Deal three damage to an enemy follower. So I'm gonna use this and kill that. And then I'm gonna put my C brand dragon. You know, which gains storm, so you can attack on the same turn that he put it down. 
So I might actually end up losing this one, but we'll see. It's because I took way too much damage early on. And also my deck is like extremely late game oriented, so I don't have really like uh, low level cards basically. I should really add them, but I like this playstyle better, better for now. So yeah, if you're having trouble building a deck or like you don't know what to do, um, just there's like plenty of guides out there that show you a good deck. And I have, um, I'm following a... A face Dragoncraft deck, which is supposed to be pretty good. Okay, so I just wasted his passive because there's no enemy followers, but we'll see how it goes from now. Hopefully I don't just get one shot or something. Whoa, spooky. Hmm. Give plus four, plus three to an allied follower. Hopefully he doesn't evolve. Oh wow, he ended. Okay, sick. Okay, this is extremely good for me because... Destroy an enemy follower, deal two damage to the enemy leader. I can do that. I can do this. I can see the path to heaven. No! Hmm. I need to destroy that taunt, so I'll just play this one and evolve it. It's kind of a waste, but yeah. I mean, I could wait till next turn and not use my evolve, but I'd rather just do this instead. Music is kind of repetitive, so that's why I, uh, I usually put on Monster Cat. And yeah, that's how you do it. Victory is exhilarating. Hmm. Next rank in one one fifteen. Okay, actually, I'll do another one. I'm really close to C three. Honestly, I don't know where it stands. It's. I hope it's like silver. If you compare it to League. So there's uh, masters, triple. I mean, double A, A, B, C, D, E. Oh no, wait, is there E? I don't remember actually. Oh, oh yeah, it's just beginners, I think. Beginners and then C. So it's like about silverish. So usually on the first hand, I don't know if other players do this, but I just you know like to put all the really high play point cards away so that I can have a stronger early game. I mean it's only logical, right? But I'm actually very good. So who knows? So yeah, this is Havencraft, this is Shadowcraft, I mean, sorry, Dragoncraft. And he's supposed to be a guy, but yeah, I bought a skin. I think that's Havencraft, I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the deck building process is actually really easy, I mean, it's really fun, because you can pretty much get any card in the game that you want. Um, you just need enough vials for it, and you get vials by... Um, quote, disintegrating your own cards that you don't want. So there's like no money involved or anything. If you want to get more cards, then you just buy more packs pretty much. Okay, I'm guessing he couldn't play a card. He didn't have any low level ones. Dragon Rider. Gain plus two plus zero if overflow is active for you. Which means that it's, it's pretty much useless until, you know, 
Overflow is active. Or the passive is, I mean, rather. So the cards that give you a, a play points are really useful useful for this deck because, you know, you want to get to the late game as soon as possible, so... Um, yeah, once this card dies, the last words, you gain an empty play point orb, so that just puts me a little bit higher for the next turn, basically. Um, I'm going to attack her directly. <laughs> Also, I know you guys are gonna think this game is really um, like weeb heavy or whatever, but it's really not, honestly. There's a lot of strategy and like literally there's less RNG than other card games. So I have another play point card. So I just gained another play point. So she has only three, so she can only play up to like three star cards while I can play up to five star or five play point. And I'm gonna put it to another level by Mr. going Dragon. one for one. So I'm gonna trade that, which means I get another play point orb. And I'm gonna do this, so deal two damage to an enemy follower. And I get to attack it directly. So I'm basically one point away from playing two really strong cards. Well, they're not that strong, but. Yeah. This one deals one damage to every other follower except this one and this one does four damage to a single target countdown summon a holy falcon so yeah she's pretty much just she has like countdown cards so i have overflow active now which means that this one gained plus two um i'll put another dragon rider on unfortunately even if you evolve you can't attack directly if you evolve, it means you can d attack other followers directly. But anyways, yeah, I'll just do that. I don't want to waste my evolves just yet. So I have a, uh, like, this is pretty much the dream for this deck. Because I have a strong early game and I'm ramping up to the late game super fast. Priest of the Kujal could go. I see all Banish an enemy follower with three or less defense. What a drag. Hmm. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'll just play Glacial Dragon. What in the I'm not gonna evolve him, I'm just gonna save it. So I have two Dance of Deaths, which is which are really good cards for stalling. You show an enemy follower and you deal two damage to the enemy leader. Well, they're not that great for stalling, but yeah. This card is probably gonna die, I feel like. So while I do have the Dream Late Game, I'm actually running out of cards. I have two spell cards. Which is great for stalling, but I'm only two points away from complete late game. The real battle begins. Hmm. -mm, okay. This one's gonna live. This is gonna die. He's gonna attack me directly. Which is fine, I guess. Okay, we got a ward. Oh wait, never mind. He attacked me directly with that. Okay. Hmm, I don't want to use a ward. I'm going to actually just kill that and attack him directly. Actually, you know what? I'm going to evolve it. Just for the two extra damage. Let's see how this goes. 
I don't have any storm cards, which means it can't attack her directly next turn. But we'll see. Please give me storm. Oh well, I don't storm. Hmm. I could play Dragon Guard and stall for another turn. Or I can play Fafnir and just destroy all that. I think I'm gonna play Fafnir actually. This is a really hard card to get rid of. Unless you know you have like Dance, Dance of Death or something. I pretty much just want to stall until I get a card that gives me storm. I have three of those Dark Dragoon Forts. It's gonna be pretty rough though. Wow. Destroy all followers. That's pretty rough. Uh, I don't have another storm. Guess I'll put a word down in Dragon Warrior. Okay, let's see. What can he do? If he plays even two cards. Oh wow, another destroy all followers, okay. He's pretty much just stalling at this point. Okay, I got a healer and I got Dread Dragon. If he kills these two, I think I lost. If I can survive though, it's a different story. Deal one damage to all enemies. Countdown. Deal three damage to the enemy leader. Storm. Oh my god, I lost. Wow. You just outplayed me. This victory is a testament to your strength. That's insane. Damn, and I only need to live for one more turn too. Alright, he got me. Uh, oh. But yeah, guys. Uh, so that's pretty much it. It's okay, I only lost minus 50. It's not too bad. So yeah, that's pretty much how the gameplay is. Um, if you haven't checked out my other vids, go do that. Actually, it's just ranked games, so it's not that great. But yeah, there's another uh, Shadowverse tutorial video. But you can just go through the story mode and it'll teach you, so it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, I don't have enough to buy more cards. But yeah, if you just go to cards, um, you can pretty much get any card in the game, right, like right from scratch, because you just need vials, which is this thing here. So basically, when you get rid of a card, Was it in deck? I don't remember. Edit deck. Uh. Oh, okay, there it is. Create cards. No, wait, that's not it. Okay, yeah, there it is. Sorry. Yeah, so you click on create cards and then you just, you know, search up whatever card you want. Liquify means it's going to get rid of the one you have right now and create means the amount that it's needed to require uh, to build one. So I have a bunch of legendaries, right? For example, if I get rid of Fafnir, it's worth 2500. Our Prince of Darkness. Our Dark Angel Olivia. And it needs about 3,500. So this is one card that I need, actually. Uh, should I get it now, though? I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'll just keep it for now. But yeah. 
that's pretty much it. And uh, the animated cards just means that they're super legendary, or super rare rather. If they're legendary and animated, that means, yeah, they're just extremely valuable, like this one for example. So yeah guys, that's about it for this video, and uh, yeah, that's that's all. I uh, just wanted to show you some ranks and you know how the game works and stuff. So if you guys like this game and you want to try it out for your phone or your tablet or whatever, then make sure to click the link in the description, and yeah, that's, that's all. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.